Hello friends, welcome back to Mule S Academy. In today's session, we are going to talk about uh, how we can deploy proxy Mule application on hybrid target. So if you look at my screen right now, I have a hybrid environment setup. So you can see here, blue color, this is my control plane, which is hosted by MuleSoft. And down there, there is a runtime plane, which is hosted by a customer. So I have a standard Mule runtime, which is registered with my control plane. And uh, I have one Mule application, which is running on 8081 deployed on my server. Then my use case is now I want to, you know, have a Mule proxy application, okay, which will invoke some external, external REST API. That Mule proxy application, I want to deploy on my uh, hybrid target. Okay, so let's look at what all challenges will be coming. Okay, so if I if I take the other part, if I deploy this application on Cloud Hub, okay, which is MuleSort hosted runtime, where all the applications runs on separate Mule worker, so there won't be any challenges or problem while deploying in a Cloud Hub. Okay. One more thing. Your Mule proxy application by default runs on 8081. We have option to change the ports, but by default it runs on 8081. So if even if you have any application running on 8081 in Cloud Up, that won't create any problem with the Mule proxy app. Okay. Let's see the second part. If I deploy, if I try to deploy this on my hybrid target, then if there are any applications which are running on same port, then there will be a problem of port binding issue. Okay. So these are the two scenarios. Okay. Now this problem can be solved via two ways. So while creating this mule proxy application, I can use the port numbers which are not used by my hybrid target. And that will be a conversion job. So we need to, you know, keep track of all the port numbers which are used already used okay second option since we are working on target uh, which is hybrid and which which is a uh, standard mule time we can take help of you know uh, domain projects okay so if i configure to use a domain project in my mule con mule proxy app it tries to connect proxy shared domain, which won't be there on my, my hybrid target. So let's see how we can resolve all these issues one by one via demo. Okay. So before jumping out of the demo, I'll encourage everyone to please subscribe the channel. Please hit the like button. If you have any questions, please write in the comment box and please hit the bell icon so that you'll get notification for the future videos. Okay. So let me go first to my API manager. Let's try to create the uh, proxy application. So we'll go to add API and say add new API. Select the gateway. So we'll be selecting mule gateway. We want to deploy proxy application. We'll select hybrid option. And I have already registered a server. Let me show you how I did it. So you can go ahead here download the standalone enterprise edition of your mule runtime for 30 days once you download it uh, you'll find a zip file something like uh, you know mule-e distribution standalone 4.4.0 you can unzip it once you unzip it you'll get a folder structure like this go inside the bin folder here okay start the command line from here and once you start the command line from here, go ahead and run one command. Let me bring that command from my runtime plane. Sorry, runtime manager. So if you go in runtime manager, there is option to add a server over here. Okay, so uh, under servers, you'll find add server. You'll find this command. So you can give your server name here, something like, uh, I can use some meaningful. So you copy this command, okay? Go to your command line here and paste that. Since we are running this command on Windows, so you can remove the dot and slash, okay? Once you run this command, this server will get registered in your in your 
uh, runtime manager over here, just like you see here, Moon, right? Then you can go ahead and start the server. So then next command you'll find, you'll find uh, just run the mule and your server will be ready. Okay. Okay. So that's how I, I came up with the hybrid uh, uh, target uh, in, uh, integration with my any point platform. Okay. So now let's go back to our, to our API manager. So select that server next. Now we are going to create new API. So I'll just say, <clears throat> I beat. Okay. Go ahead, select HTTP API. In advance, we don't need to change anything. Go next. First, I'll show you it will fail. Okay. So once first we'll deploy without any configuration to our hybrid target. So yeah, implementation URL, I am giving one external non mule rest api url okay so which runs uh so if i copy that it's publicly available okay so you can go ahead and make use of this rest api so you'll find the output okay so this is a non mule rest api we're going to try accessing from our proxy okay now in the advanced option okay so there are options okay so if you want to use a scheme sdps you can go ahead and configure if you want to go for you know different uh, port numbers you can go ahead and then finally there is option to use a domain project i don't want to change anything right now i just wanted to show you that it will throw error okay so let's just save and deploy so if you go ahead and deploy it let's look at our Runtime manager applications. Now you can see the it, this this got uh, you know a deployment field. Now if you want to see the logs, right? Since it deployed on the hybrid target, target you won't be able to see any logs over here. So let's look at the logs. What happened? So where we can find the logs? So wherever your server location, okay, home location, go here, and you'll find the logs directory over here. So now if you uh, see, right, we have deployed our app as hybrid target and this, okay. So let's go ahead and look at this log. It will show you clearly, look at here. Since my target already running application with 8081, a, a, it, it's saying that it's already in use, so port binding issue, okay. So how to resolve this? So first option, I already talked about it. If you go here in API manager, okay. Here, see it's unexpected error occurred. What we can do, we can go down here. And this is fine. Go to advanced option here. And instead of 8081, we can change this I'm not still, I'm not using any domain, save and deploy. Now the problem will be solved. Okay. So if I go to my runtime manager, now it will get deployed. Okay. So let's see. Yeah. See it's deployed. Okay. So if I go to my postman and if I run, so it's deployed on 8082, right? So I'll say 8082 and try to get the data. Yeah, you can see here, if I change the ID of the user, you'll be able to see the output. Okay, so one way we, but remembering all port numbers and you know, it, 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 it will be at one point will be, you know, will be exhausted all the port numbers, right? So let's not do that, okay? So let's go back now. Now I say, Okay, boss, I want to use uh, 
So uh, let's go to the API manager. I guess I want to use, uh, okay, let's create new, better, fresh. So let's create new API. We'll go ahead and we'll select same options again, hybrid, uh, my hybrid target, create new. Here, I'll just say users. Proxy API users. I read proxy API just to giving some unique name. So go to HTTP API. Okay, I will use the same URL again and go to advanced option now. So same port number we'll use and we'll try to use now reference user domain. Okay, so with this option, we can take help of domain projects. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, say next. So this option will fail. Okay, so we'll see how to fix that. So let's go and try to deploy it. This deployment will fail. Let's see what happens. So if you look at the server logs over here. So if you notice here, see the domain project. Okay. So it, it looks for some a default domain name. Okay. So proxy hyphen shared domain. And this domain we don't have. Okay. That's the reason the deployment is failing. Okay. So let's see how to fix it. So we need to make some manual changes here. So let's go ahead and we can see that deployment is failed. Okay, so yeah, you can see the deployment is failed. Now, first we'll download this proxy. Okay, we need to do some manual changes here. Okay, now let's download this proxy. I'll go ahead and uh, download on the desktop. Let's go ahead and try to import. Let's go ahead, import that jar text user hybrid proxy. That's what we have given name. Let's go ahead. Okay, so let me bring that to my working set. Uh, users hybrid. Okay. Now, close other project. So this is my application. So let's do one by one changes. Okay, so if you notice here, form.xml, it's trying to look for a domain project whose artifact ID is gateway hyphen proxy domain. Okay, so this is not there. So what first you will fix this form.xml. Okay, so let's go ahead. Right click on your project, go to properties. And I have a domain project. Okay. So go to mule. So I have a domain project called common hyphen domain. Okay, so let's Select that. Apply, apply and close. Okay, so first issue uh, we have fixed in the form.xml. Okay, now in domain project I have HTTP configuration, so we don't need this dependencies. We'll remove this dependency. Second fix. Okay, save everything. Now let's go to our HTTP configuration here listener configuration and we'll do this change. So now we'll select the listener configuration from domain project. So right now it's looking for some proxy listener HTTP configuration which we have deleted. We'll select this configuration from domain project. Third change, save this. Fourth change in our mule hyphen artifact.json. So here, 
it's coming as domain is coming as proxy hyphen shared domain okay so we change this and we bring the name of the domain project which we have grab it from here control c go here this is the fourth change we need to do now save everything okay export this proxy now export this proxy go to export option next okay we go to desktop finish 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 once this is exported let's go to our runtime manager okay and go here and let's delete this okay let's delete this and we'll deploy the fresh jar we can use same jar and say that let's redeploy but i want a fresh deployment okay so deploy application and yeah we'll give a name let's name the jar first So this is the jar 1018. Yeah, that's the time. Go here. Select this jar. Maybe you can copy this name. Underscores are not allowed. So we'll replace underscores with hyphen. 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 Okay. And this one also we'll replace with hyphen. Okay. Uh, this is our hybrid rabbit moon and this is okay deploy application this should deploy successfully and this unregister should you know change to active let's let's wait for that and see so it's deploying now let's have a look at it here it's starting and it started and if you look at this option will get changed to active, let's wait for that. Let's wait for it. <clears throat> Refresh. It will take some time. Let's look at the log. Yeah, it's deployed successfully. That's fine. Everything looks fine. Let's go ahead and see now. So 8081, right? So that is the port. Yeah, you can see that now. We are able to access the same by using uh, the, you know, or the same port number by using domain project. <clears throat> okay, so let's check the status of the API manager, refresh. Yeah, you can see that it's active now. Yeah, so that's how. So we need to make some manual changes. Okay, hope you got clear idea how, where all we changed. So four changes we did, and then we redeployed the application, the runtime manager. And we can see that now we can have N number of proxy by using coin you know, uh, domain project on your hybrid target. Okay, thanks for watching. Hope you uh, like the you know session. And I'll recommend, please hit the like button, subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon so that you'll get notification to the uh, future upcoming videos. Thank you.